What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports, welcome back to Football Manager 2021 Non-League to Wear. If you haven't watched the first episode, it is up on YouTube right now as I speak, so make sure you go check that out so you get an understanding of the save. And I owe you guys an apology as well, because episode one, if we go to the schedule, I did record the Hartlepool game, I tweaked my um, OBS settings, and the game, the recording crashed it was still playing okay on my PC. I was streaming at the time as well. It crashed on stream and it crashed on the recording and I didn't actually notice it until we were six games deep after that um, recording. So I can only apologise for that. I'm sorry for not showing any games. But this episode, we will have games in it. We are live on live on Twitch right now. We've got as a, assistant managers in the chat. We've got Tyler and Joe who are our assistant managers and we have picked up some fantastic results along the way. The last time... I left you was the Dagenham and Redbridge. We have played one, two, three, four, five. We've played six games since then. We haven't lost a game. We played Hartlepool and we drew 2-2, which was a great result. As you can see, we actually went down to 10 men on the 72nd minute. And then I thought Hartlepool won it on the 84th, Bloomfield getting the goal. But Ben Thompson had other ideas with a 7.9 rating. He... he scored it was a great goal it was a great goal can i can i uh, i don't want to watch the goals can i not click on thompson there must be a way of actually selecting the goals i need to know that chat on twitch let me know i'm sure that i could actually just click and watch the goals i will show you some highlights um let's 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 do it let's watch the goals from this game because it's worth it i feel um we'll we'll have a look at it just because of the, the the nature of the result, there is another result as well. Which, wait, okay, this is this is good, isn't it? This is thanks FM. Yeah, okay, that's not working now. I intended it. So anyway, we'll leave that for now. Uh, so it was two two. It was a great game. Down to ten men. We thought we lost the game on the eighty fourth minute, but Thompson had other ideas. Ninety third minute, great result. Then went to go play at Kingsling Town. We took a two nil lead. 2-0 up after 20 minutes. Cody Cook and Ben Thompson getting the goals. Thompson, honestly, has been outstanding for us. Seven goals in seven appearances. Great striker for this this league. Um, thanks for Tyler for mentioning him to me, who's currently doing it on the Xbox this save. He's in season three now, I believe. Then we played Halifax at home and we won 2-0. Clean sheet. I love my clean sheets. And we got two goals. We got a, a rare goal from Dallas. We brought on as a substitute in that game. Um, and he scored... Uh, and he won us the game. Was who was that against? Was it Halifax? Yeah, he secured the points on the 84th minute. Halifax, uh, match stats wise, I think they only had two shots on goal. We had 19, very very commanding lead, 60 uh, commanding game, 60% possession and 40% to Halifax. We was we was great. And then we had to play Barnet. We won two one as well. Uh, Cody Cook getting two goals this time, but you can see. We got Ravens sent off in the 11th minute. We took a lead from Cook on the, from the penalty spot. Then Hooper scored. Barnett, were, I think when we played Barnett, there was around 10th play, 10th or 13th, somewhere around those lines. Um, and then Hooper equalised literally straight from the kickoff a minute afterwards. Then Cook scored again. And then literally, I, I paused the game. I made a change straight after the Cook goal because I didn't want it happening when we took the lead from the penalty spot them to score the highlight happened it played and it played and it played but i brought on a, an extra center back so I went with five at the back to try and see out the result and it worked a charm and it was a great result as as well then we dropped some points i'm gonna to to say bar and wood when we played them was down in 19th in the league they are now 17th there was 19th we went one nil down in this game and i was a little bit disappointed with our performance going forward if you look at the match stats it, if we could have won it see a, a draw was a fair result our xg wasn't great 0.52 which is probably the lowest it's been since the probably opening day fixtures the first three fixtures um because we have been dominating teams and we've been playing really well um so Bournemouth won one disappointing but we played stockport who was seventh in the league and we managed to win ben thompson was just great he actually had two goals disallowed in this game one for a very tight offside decision it was offside it was very tight but he did score four, but only two counted, and we got the three points. So Thompson, again, just doing absolute bits. Look at his XG, 4.97, and an average rating of 7.03. What a player he has been. So these games, then, this episode, we're going to show you the Wrexham and the Chinchester 
in the FA Trophy third round. We entered the cup competition at the third round, so this is the first time we'll be playing in that. Uh, league table-wise, very quickly before we advance, uh, you can see we're third. We're only two points behind Dover, Notts County as well, literally copying the results that we're doing. Dover have dropped points over the last sort of um, few games. They did pick up a win against all the shot, but they did drop points here against Notts County and Bromley, so hopefully they will slide down the table and we can overtake them. Um, nothing else really to show you guys, to tell you guys about. We have been playing a guy called Santos, if I can find him. Um, he was unhappy at his playing time. You can see he can play across midfield. Um, he's 25 years old and he's Brazilian. And this was the guy that I was like, he's Brazilian, he's, he's got 13 flair, he may be good for this league. We are retraining him now to be um, a winger, a right winger. Um, so both on support, so hopefully he's training. We have been playing him on the right-hand side of midfield. One negative note, if we go to our under-23 squad and we go to uh, Wage, and look at this. This guy here, Jake McCarthy, he's 24 years old. We signed him from Bournemouth back in 2017. He's on £800 a week, and I cannot get rid of him. Somebody's coming for him, Concord Rangers, for £0. He's worth getting out of the club because of the £800 he is surplus to requirements. I've told him that. Gavin Brooks as well, another high earner in the under 23s at £500, 26 years old. Nobody wants him. He's not going to take a pay cut, which is very disappointing. But it is what it is. You can see we're playing Wrexham very shortly. We'll, uh, we'll back with you when the Wrexham game happens. So we've got a youth intake uh, early assessment. At least one of our goalkeeper looks great. Prospect, there is a minimum of two centre-backs that look rather promising. We have... We have what looks like a top prospect for centre midfield. That is, an, that is a position I could do with strengthening at the end of the season. There is an attacking midfielder we should keep an eye, very close eye on. We have one good young English attacking midfielder from Weymouth who has caught the eye. We don't have any great numbers of players coming through in any single position. We don't have a defensive midfielder. We don't have any wing backs. We, we, the full backs coming up are not the best. There are a few good wingers in general. Don't expect much from this youth intake. I'm not expecting much from it to be fair. Um, that basically bottom statement says it all, but you know we'll we'll revisit it when we have to. Oh, the fourth in the league. I didn't even realise that. Um, some of this stuff here I don't really. I, I do defensive duties. I never do opposition instructions. I do um, focus play down the right. I'll do that as well. I leave this. I don't touch this. With viewers changes, and what I normally do is I do this, and we'll go to team selection, and then. I change it like Ben Thompson. This happens all the time. Ben Thompson. It, why does he do this? It sometimes he's still not done it. Ben Thompson. Okay, what needs what those two about? Santos, Belinga, Sang, Pike, Camp, and Hartfield. Ross. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, Shields. I don't understand why he's not on the bench. We're going to bring him on instead of Anderson, who has somehow snuck his way onto the bench when we've already got a centre back there. Bailey. Uh, Fonku and Sean Shield. I might have called him Sam earlier. Um, and yeah, I think that's that. That is pretty much a, a solid. The left winger is a really, real bad position for us. We do rotate between Bolinga and uh, this guy, but he's okay. He's got good crossing, good dribbling. I suppose what you want in a winger. It's just these physical stats aren't the greatest. He's a Spaniard. He's only two and a half star. I am a star man. I like to go for my stars. But we are playing a, a two star player there in the left. See what I mean? It's not good, but we need to really we need to improve that position. We go to the team. Go to match. Uh, the teams are warming up. I put highlights on. I play it on the sideline as well, just because um, it's something that I prefer. I don't understand. I'd, I've tried the other the other tactics. Uh, the other tactics. The other camera angles and I don't understand I can't I prefer this this is just perfect for me uh, because I like to see the lines of of our defense we are in the yellow kit as well Wrexham fourth in the league so anything from this game will be good and I thought we was going to take an early lead then as McCoy's shot just went past the post or the bar I'm not entirely sure from the angle it looked it probably went over but you'll get to actually see what my players are capable of in this game and this will be the YouTube curse as I mentioned in the Hartlepool game that didn't record properly. McCoy, he's just running through them all. He needs to stop shooting. He needs to, he needs to work the ball into the box there. He, he, I, let me just take a look at him. His long shot's a nine. Okay, the tactic then, uh, in possession, 
where the he's hit early crosses. So I don't understand why he's shooting from from that far. I can't understand that. Um, I don't need. To, usually, I would do demand more, but oh, we've got an early injury. Okay, so we're gonna have to put on Parker there. Can Pike play left, right? So Pike can play left back, and I know Camp can play right back as well. If you we take a look at his, oh, typical. He can play right back. So Camp's gonna go to the right back. I don't like using. He's our best centre back. I would rather use him in the centre, but. Needs must. I feel that's a, a tactical change that we can do. We'll, we'll do well with. Um, Parker's all right. He's just... We have to pay him now. We've brought him on. And that is going to go through to the goalkeeper. For a split second, then I thought Thompson was going to get on the end of that. We are dominating this game at the minute by the looks of things. In terms of highlights anyway, Sang. He's not, he thinks we're playing in red this game, but we're not. We're playing in yellow. I do like the yellowish kit better than the home shirt, I feel. Parker, what are you doing? Just look up, oofing it. Take a touch. Fisher, Angus. Oh, no, we're one all down. James Horsfield. I played football with him. I'm sure I did. Right, I'm going to demand more now. Oh, oh no! I, I, come on, boys. We we've been. I've I've bigged you up for YouTube, and you and you let you're letting me down by. Oh, that was a was that a good tackle? It was a really good tackle by Parker. We're still third in the league, though, so that's promising. I know we're losing. We're three points now behind Dover, but if we win, we can go above them. Right, so. Tactical wise, I'm not sure what to do here. Um, okay, pump fit. We're not doing badly if we continue to work. I don't think. Right, we'll do that. I just want to get. I need to pump pump them up a bit more. And I'm sure. I'm sure we can we can turn this we can turn this around. There's a highlight. I was going to make a change, but we'll leave it for now. We're not picking up. Where's his midfield? Good tackle by Camp Packer. Good ball. See, we've, we've had those ch early chances with highlights, and we haven't really had much in terms of chances after that, in terms of highlights. We may have had chances, but... Oh, route one. We love it. This will be definitely not... What a goal! I was going to say this is definitely non-league, but Cody Cook has just probably scored a goal that Timo Werner, yes, the guy that's not scoring... At the minute, we'll be proud of any football. Will be proud of that. Route one over the defence. Cook makes the run into it, but look at the angle here. He still has a lot to do on his right foot. To be fair, the keeper. It was a powerful shot, so we'll give all the credit to Cook there. And we're right back in the game. Let's 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 praise them. Uh, we'll let it run to 70th minute. See how we get on, and then we'll actually we'll, we'll do it now. So Sang is struggling. So Bailey, you can come on. Uh, and then I think I'm going to play Shields on the left instead of Bolinga. He's frustrated, so we're going to we're going to change that there. Go on, Sang. I know you're tired. Ball over the top was in then, but come on, Cook. I'll do. French will knock it out for a throw in, and we get our sub Shields will come on. Not being bad at all. To say we're being predicted to finish bottom, we're second at the minute as it stands. If we if we actually manage to win this game, we will go top of the table for the first time this save. Shields will pick it up. Here we go. Cook. Oh. It should be hitting the back of the net. Hartlepool has drawn level with Halifax free all. Corner. Vassell will head clear. Shields will get a second stab. Back post. Cook, yes. Oh, he's offside. We'll get a replay, though, to see if he... If he was offside or not, I feel this is the guy we're looking at. Are you kidding me? We we've been robbed. We've been robbed of that. I, I, we we were robbed of three points there. It's a point. We'll take it. Cody Cook with man of the match, been great for us. Six assists and five goals in 14 appearances. The quality. Thompson didn't do much. That was a great effort. We should have picked up the points. The referee's decision and the linesman, well, it was the linesman's decision. 
um, or for VAR in non-league, that would have been us with an extra two points, which would have put us joint top with Dover. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So it's a, we'll set the point though. We'll set the point. We're working. We're definitely working towards. Uh, we can see here six points now. The difference between us and eighth place. So it's a good gap. Very early on after fifteen play. Oh, we have a game in hand on Notts County as well, which I didn't even realise until now. So that's all good. So we have the FA Trophy game coming up in on in a week's time. And um, if anything happens in between then and then, well, I'll let you know. But I'll see you ready for the 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 chick chest. Chichester, is that how you say it? I don't know, but we'll be back with that game. FA Cup Trophy. Here it is then, your starting eleven for the FA Trophy game against Chichester. I've been, I said, I said Chinchester. There's, I've put an N in it, and there isn't an N in there. It's Chichester. So sorry for the people that live in Chichester. I don't even know where it is in 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 the UK. Uh, but anyways, Ross is in goal. Camp, Mensa, Parker, and Raven are our back four. Sang is the deep line playmaker. Shields and Belinga on the wings. McCoy. Is in the attacking midfield position and Hong Su again. He did that thing for me, Ben Thompson, and he just swapped those two about. They have an understanding now. Uh, we'll put him on the bench instead of Nagalo. Uh, Santos is being rested. Uh, Ollie Hartfield as well is out injured for five weeks. I don't know if I showed that in the clip, but there you go. He's out for five weeks with a sprained ankle. Um, Pike needs a rest as well. Um, so we're, we're resting some key players, um, but the squad's looking okay. So Summit team, nothing to report. Any op no opposition instructions have been set for our opposition today. Um, hopefully we can we can win. I was I was going to um, change the tactic, but we need funds, and you know you get funds for the FA Trophy. I know it's not a lot, but every little helps. So that's why I've played quite a strong side. I don't want it to to hinder our promotion charge because are we in are we in are we contenders early on? Fifteen games in, when we're predicted to finish bottom of the league, I say we was, and the way we're playing, we're we're on we're on an unbeaten run. And as Parker dwelled on the ball, he lost the ball. He went to tackle his man to win possession back, and he gave away a penalty. So Parker is having an absolute shocker. So far. Can Ross save it? No, he can't. We're 1 0 down. This is definitely not going to plan. This is all because we're recording and I've spoke highly of my players and then now making me look like an absolute numpty. Let's go to shouts. Let's go demand more because we do need to demand more. We may change the system at half time if it's, if it's like this at half time. We're on the attack. Sank, shields, equalizer, disallowed. I didn't think he was offside at first thoughts. I thought Cook was offside in the last game. And he wasn't. I don't think Shields was offside this time. Uh, who is the pl Yeah, he was. He was off. He was the only player that was offside. It was close. But he was off. Colin. Shields again was trying to get there. Camp. I need to get wider there, Shields. <gasps> well done. Come on. Let's build. Let's play our, play our game, boys. Cook, surely onside. He's offside again. We score two goals and they've both been offside. Again, we get to, we don't need to see all this, do we? We just need to see the ball in. The, we just need to see the ball from here, from out wide here. I don't think he was off. Cooks this guy up there. We're not gonna. Are we gonna change camera angle? Why is it showing all of this? It's not gonna show us with the lines neither, and I can't tell from that angle. Oh well, it's done. The decision stands. Let's just forget about it. They're looking unhappy at the back line as I say that. The change. Shields with a cross. And we've hit the post now. You know it's happening, don't you? We are, we're going to be going out. I'm going to leave it the same. I was going to change it, but we are seem to... We seem to be on... We seem to be on top. Um, hands on hips, I think. We seem to be on top in the game. Nine Nine shots to their two but we are trailing on the only stat that matters and is that going to stand no it's not did that go in it looked like it went in from my angle I don't understand what is going on 
Kang, Balinga, Raven. Oh, Thompson. The flag stays down this time, and we've finally got back on level terms. 55th minute into the game. It's been a long time coming. It's Balinga, two star. Great little player. Performs well, and what a ball over the top. I won't tell you it was in, intended for Cook, and it was a hover hit pass to Cook, and Thompson latched onto it. And why are we showing us about six million tight offside? Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. I should have let it go. But we're level. That's all that matters. Does it? Does it go to injury uh, to extra time? I am going to bring off Cook just because. I want to rest him. Funku can go on there as well because McCoy's been very quiet this game. Again, it's us on the highlight. Oh, okay. Uh, is Raven playing for playing for them? Bang. Funku. Bang again. Good possession. Overlap. Oh, come on, Raven. This is where we go 2 1 down. Oh. Bit ambitious shooting from there. We need to go demand more. Close that guy down at the edge of the box. Second ball. Oh, Belinga. Oh, juddering going on. No, Packer, yes. Here we go. Oh, man, we're getting dominated at the minute. What's going on? Since we scored, we've seemed to take our foot off the pedal a little bit. Ball over the top for Thompson. Dallas on as a sub. Play him in. He's offside. That's three. Good. Three disallow goals. Three. Not one. Three this game. Oh, it's a, it's a mega long highlight. I'm not watching that back again. The decision's final. I'm not going to moan about it. It is what it is. We have... <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've dominated these. I should have gone attacking earlier on. Uh, we'll bring on... The extra time it is then. So we need to make... Do we get an extra sub? Do we get an extra sub? I feel... You can in the FA Cup. Uh, to be fair, I don't really want to bring Anderson on at centre-back. Raven's injured though. It allows me to do it. Does it? It does. Okay, that's that's positive. So we, we've used all of our substitutions. I don't want penalties again because we went out in the FA Cup on penalties. And that's the half time of extra time. That went really well, didn't it? Really, re well played, boy. Oh, we got a free kick. Are we yes, it's Thompson that's going to take it. Oh, that's his 10th of the season. In off the crossbar. What a great free kick. Let me just. Why can't I change when it's on there? Oh, look at the. He just smashed it in. Right, let's go back to positive. I don't want to go attack it. We'll, we'll, we're a positive team. Ellis is through. Do you know what? His goals. Thompson with the assist and Dallas. Do you know what? I might have to start playing him as well. Been dodgy in the cup, says Joe in the Twitch chat. We, we have we have been dodgy. He's dead right, but we've got over the line now. Surely we have. The back of the net nearly broke with that finish. Well done, Dallas. I nearly sent him back. I nearly sent him back to his parent club, but I mean, twenty three shots, ten of them on target. His xG at one point nine seven. Can we make it four? No. Thing is, we, we've had three goals disallowed as well this game. Um, it's interesting to see what sort of money we get. It won't be a lot. It'll be a few grand, I reckon. Probably a few grand. Shields. Uh, can we just finish the game, please, referee? I think the fitness played a bit of an impact in this as well, because we're a semi-professional club. I, I don't. I think these would probably be, these could be part time. I don't know. I've never even heard of them, and that's bad. My football knowledge is pretty decent. I've never even heard of this team. We'll have a look afterwards, see what uh, what the status is, if they're part-time or professional. We win after extra time, 3-1. Um, good win. We'll take it. We'll check out... Um... 
oh no, they are semi-professional. They don't they play in that division. I don't know how far down it is. Um, but yeah, all in all, that was pretty good. And that 4.5k we get, which is nice because our finances are in the red at the minute because we are well overspending on the on that. But I can't do anything about that just yet. So we need to do some maths and need to work out what we need to do. I'm going to do a lot off a of, of street, off a of record, do it on stream maybe. Um, we projected this season for a loss of 64 grand, which isn't good. But hopefully promotion can can boost that. Thompson, amazing, amazing play. He has played 10 games for us in total. One in the FA Cup, one in the FA Trophy, and eight appearances in the league, and he scored 10 goals. What a great player. Probably our best player at the moment I would, I would, I would say so at the moment. Uh, club info. Have a look at this. Uh, our top goal scorer, as you can see, is Ben Thompson. Uh, most assists is Cook, and man of the match is also Thompson. So he's in the running for Player of the Year already. This is me here. Woohoo! Looking pretty decent. Um, forgot to my profile. This is what I've set myself up with. Um, qualification wise, I'm a National A license. So there's not much there. But my win percentage is good, 61%. I've only lost three games in management. I have 18 players. I don't think that's bad at all. We've drawn four and we've won 11. Anyway, boys, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you would, be greatly appreciated. If you was to leave a like and you're around here, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you either on my next YouTube video or over on Twitch. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And goodbye.